experience in that. Man, I'm better now than I was. All these jokes are gonna bow. Tubas, 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 gather round. Wayne6578 has an online game rank match about to go down. And I'm rolling with the one and only Chicago Bears playing better than you, 817. And he decides to choose those Green Bay Packers. The Fudge Pack is back. And we in Lambo, so you know I definitely want to come out and beat the hell out of this guy. It's funny that playing with the Bears and playing the Green Bay Packers in the frozen tundra. It's... Today is the day you have so many playoff implications and situations. You got Dallas playing Washington Redskins with a must win to keep their playoffs hopes and dreams alive. And look at Matt Forte, gonna do this cannonball into the end zone and we're gonna go up 7-0 on this man. You also got Green Bay Packers playing Pittsburgh Steelers. I hope that steel curtain squashes the shit out of the Green Bay Packers this week. Because if they do that, the Bears ain't got much to worry about that game at the end of the season. If they don't, it might come down to the wire. Might have to play to see who goes to the playoffs. Detroit pretty much stunk it up. They had a chance. They were leading the division. All they had to do was just keep winning, and they were going to go to the playoffs, win a division, but they pretty much lost last weekend and messed that up. Look at James Jones. Oh, 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 is this guy on steroids? I got this cup waiting for you on the sideline here, buddy. Come on, come on over here and piss in this cup. But anyway, so we got, uh, you also got some other playoff implications. You got, uh, I was looking at the games. It's halftime right now, and it said Miami had a situation where they, if they win, they're in, and then if something else happens, they'll win a division. But they can also get kicked out of the playoffs today based on other things that happen. So how would you like to be in that type of situation? I'm glad the Bears are not in that type of situation. You also got Baltimore playing New England. I know that's Engraven's team. And I think I heard Engraven in his last video talking about how Baltimore got taken out of that Sunday night slot for the Bears in Philadelphia. I'm going to have to disagree with you, with you Engraven. I'd rather watch the Bears. That game is a little bit more important to me than your Baltimore versus New England. I think Baltimore is going to beat New England tonight anyway. So don't worry about it, Engraven. But the Bears are playing the Philadelphia Eagles. And it's a must win for the Bears. It's a must win for them Eagles. Eagles have the best rushing uh, running back and they have the most yards rushing in the NFL. And they're playing the Bears, and everybody knows the Bears don't have the best rushing defense. So it's going to be a real interesting game. But we do have two studs at wide receiver and one big-ass stud at running back. So I think Matt Forte, Alshon Jeffrey, and Brandon Marshall will bring us a victory. Are you ready, Smoking Big Mike? I hope they can do it think they can only time will tell let's get back into commentating this game I'm up 14-7 on this man we're gonna smack him in his face I'm doing what we can right here to stop this man from scoring and look at Jennings picking that up off the floor like the immaculate reception bang bang give me that thing and we couldn't take it to the house still gonna do what we can to get down here Bears defense this game was doing great I hope they do like this when we play the Packers for the end of the season it would be too tight if we could do this. And I'm going to hit Marcellus Bennett. Pick up some yards right here. Come on, pick up that block, Bennett. Getting on down here close to this end zone. Hope we can capitalize off of that mistake. And we hit Brandon Marshall with the black KI 7865 fade route. Black taught me that fade route right there. And I will start to use and abuse it. It is like JC Money says, straight money. So anyway, getting on down here, getting closer down here, trying to stop this man, hold him to a field goal. This Bears defense, we had so many hit sticks and jarring that ball loose, like right here. DJ Williams said, I don't think so. 
This guy had a hell of a time trying to get through this defense. Don't you just love those games where every play you call is just, it's just great. It's decent. And every time they throw the ball, man, it's right there like DJ Williams to take advantage of it and get picks. So we're going to go down here. We got less than three minutes to try to put some points on the board. And I try to go to Devin Hester again. And I get picked off. First time he dropped the ball. Second time we got it picked off. I got to stop going to Devin Hester. And will I learn my lesson? Only time will tell. I'm gonna smack you in your face. Look at that guy right there. Briggs swats that away like it's a fly bothering him in the summertime. And look at that. He goes for it on fourth, but that defensive lineman gets his hand up. So we get the ball back. But we do know with it, it's us. it was at the end of half, so he comes back out. He gets the ball at half. We're up by two touchdowns. Perfect opportunity, just don't you run no screens on me there, buddy. Perfect opportunity <clears throat> to stop this man and hopefully he won't get any points. Oh, just got to a field goal or something like that. Look at Forte beasting. Come on, man, you got to charge for that ride. Ain't nothing free. We're going to get that first, though. So getting on closer down here, trying to score that touchdown. Ooh, smacks me in my face. Forte picks up that monkey. Thank God I left him back there to block. That could have been disastrous. And look at me trying to throw to Hester. And again. <coughs> Third time's the charm. And we get a ball right back to this man. <coughs> We're doing what we can to get down here. Oh God, I'm choking over here. Like Hester is choking when he tries to catch that ball. And look at those user skills. Beautiful. Beautiful. So he's coming down here running out of that pocket because everything is covered. And we smack him in his face. Get him at second and 23. And again, look at those users. What a catch by Jordy Nelson. Throw the red flag, Tressman. But we got it. We're going to stop him. We're going to do what we can. Hopefully he can't score a touchdown. And look at him getting that ball to Jordy. Hitting me with that drag route. And he's getting closer and closer with Jermichael Finley. Reading an article about Jermichael Finley might call it quits for his NFL career. He had those two concussions back to back. And that second concussion, he said he couldn't feel his arms or his legs. That's crazy. He said his son, when he came back from the hospital, his son said, Daddy, why don't you quit playing football? So I got a feeling that guy might just uh, call it quits, hang his cleats up. Hey man, family first, you know. That's uh, pretty sad that his career might end like that, but you never know. It'll be interesting to see what he decides to do. But anyway, that's the Green Bay Packers. I really don't care what he does. Look at Matt Forte beasting. Yeah, James Jones, I take steroids too. Getting close to that end zone. We're going to run it in with everybody loves Bush to go up on this man. 28-14. And then come right back with Martin and say, bang, bang, give me that thing. Perfect opportunity to go up some more points on this man. Get on down here hitting with Beast Marshall. Beast Marshall and Beast Jeffrey. Speaking of Jeffrey, hit him with that black KI 7865 fade route. To go up on this man some more points. And this is the best opportunity and feeling when you're playing Madden. When you got a big lead, it's the fourth quarter. Just got to sit back and let this guy, look at this guy run this screen on me. Nice screen. Just sit back and let this guy try to make his reads. Send a little heat on him. Smack him in his face. Get this guy frustrated. He has to score. Game is pretty much out of hand. Oh, look at that shoestring tackle right there by Jennings. And this guy getting closer and closer down here. I just really want to hold this guy to a field goal because it is the Packers. And look at Jennings saying, bang, bang, give me that thing. Look at Tillman pushing Cobb in the back. So we get the penalty start off on the one. It's cool, though. I'm going to hit Rosario. Met you with that back juke. Look at that. Wayne brought the back juke back. I'm getting down here. I'm going to hit him with a screen of my own. Why couldn't I get that out to the left? Would have picked up more yards, possibly a touchdown. Look at him offsides right there. He smacks me in my face. I accept that penalty to start it over. Then I just try to chuck it up to let Jeffrey do something. Nice animation. 
Too bad you didn't come down with the ball, Jeffrey. So he gets the ball back. Game is out of hand, like I've said. So anyway, we're just trying to slow him down right here. He's going to get down here and possibly get a fan something that they were proud to come to the game and see because I know most of them are probably headed towards the doors. And look at this guy finally gets his offense going right here. He's picking me apart. And he chucks it up at the end to score a touchdown. And Marty says, bang, bang, give me that thing two for two. I see you. Look at that, Martin. You just ended that game. What a game. I hope that happens next week. Better than you, 817. You need to change your name. You don't want this, bro. Thanks for the 18 nuggets. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, definitely rate, comment, like, and subscribe. Check out the rest of the D&D crew members. They're in the description. Subscribe to their channels if you're not a subscriber. Other than that, you guys can do whatever.